hey guys welcome back to the channel and i'm back with this shackles tutorial in the last one we created the model for this and today we are going to unwrap this in maya so let's start and i'm going to switch to uv editing workspace in maya and we're going to start with this one and we're going to unwrap only uh, this part and we're going to transfer the uv on this one because these two are identical so as for this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to isolate this and uh, we're going to use camera based mapping for this one automatic mapping could be a little bit tricky for this so if i go to create and use automatic mapping it is going to break down the uvs in multiple parts which are going to be a headache to move and sew so i think i'll go with camera based so that we can manually create the scenes where we need them to be so i'll go to create select camera base and uh, go to edge mode in your viewport and i'm going to select the corner edges like this same for this one and here on the inside now we have selected the seams and what we are going to do is we are going to go to your uv editor and in the edge mode i'm going to cut and now we can separate the shells like this as you can see if i select this and unfold it it's going to be unwrapped perfectly same for everything else but this one is going to be a little bit difficult if i unfold it, it's going to show you something like this and uh, to fix this what we can do is we can create a seam on the top and the bottom so i think i'll just undo this and create a seam selection here in the center and same thing for the top and I'm going to cut now unfold and we are done with this but let's select these two and I think we need to create some theme here as well so if I unfold it it's not going to unwrap perfectly and if I turn on the checkers then you can see that our checkers are stretched so what I'll do is I'll just make a selection here like this and cut same for this one and cut now we can unfold this and use orient shell to fix the rotation now select everything unfold one more time and layout select the shells and use orient shell to fix the rotation and layout one more time and i think we are good to go turn on the checkers and to see if there is any stretching you can scale these up and the checkers will be a little bit smaller and now you can easily check if there are any stretchings so everything looks perfect and i'm going to undo this now what we can do is we can just select this one and this one go to mesh in the transfer attribute reset everything and in the attribute setting change the sample space to component and apply and it's going to transfer the uv from this one to this one now your meshes need to be identical for this to work so now we have these links for the chains 
and for this I'm going to just unwrap one of them and then we can transfer the UVs and this is pretty simple as you can see that we already have the scenes here so if I go here and unfold it's going to unwrap perfectly we don't have to do anything since this was a primitive and we didn't change anything we didn't change the topology much so the UV unwrap came out perfectly now if we were to unwrap this manually what we would do is we can just go to create and again camera base so if we use automatic mapping for this one it's going to break this down into smaller pieces so if I click here then you'll see that we have UV shells and a smaller bits here which will be difficult to move and sew so we'll just go to create camera base and now we can manually select the seam so I'm selecting the seam here and maybe this one and now we can cut UV shell and unfold and we are done use orient shell to fix the rotation and I think we are good to go now you can use a straightened UV this might work and this might cause some issue sometimes but I think this worked good enough in this case turn on the UV checkers and I think everything looks good now go back select these two go to mesh and transfer attribute click apply again select this one then the other one apply and now we can repeat the same thing over and over again for identical meshes and we are done I'm going to select everything we can combine this I'm going to select the UV shells in the layout and put them in a layout one more time and I think we are done go to edit delete by type history and we are ready to export this so I'm going to select this mesh go to file export selection and I'm going to export as OBJ and we are done so that's how you can unwrap this model and in the next one we are going to texture this in substance painter so stay tuned for that and i'll finish this video here so if you liked it then make sure to subscribe to the channel and you can also join my discord server and follow me on the instagram all the links are given in the description so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one